Hi everyone, my name is Bettina and I'd like to show you my electronic workbench that I've developed or built over the last uh, four or five years. So let's take a tour. All right, backing up, we have a long shot there of the actual bench. You'll see that this part here is where I do a lot of my uh, repairs and stuff like that and uh, where I do a lot of the messy stuff. So I like to keep it all over here. And approaching the bench, you'll see I have home home cabinets, little drawers and cabinets and they're all kind of stuff, capacitors, resistors, semiconductors, all the good stuff. And I've got a lot of the parts actually from uh, old um, equipment like VCRs and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll scrap it and get the parts out of it. Uh, got some nuts and bolts and stuff like that neatly organized. I just did that a little while ago, so I'm very proud of that. And uh, what do I got here? These are capacitors and these are assorted semiconductors that I've actually labeled with the ECG number. And this stuff here is where I keep a, a lot of the more voluminous stuff, like bigger capacitors and stuff like that, and some tools, etc. And there's the bench again. Oh, and this is a little uh, fan here that I like to uh, run when I'm doing soldering. It uh, blows away the smoke and stuff like that. Nasty stuff. I use a lead-free solder anyway, so but you never know. And uh, there's the soldering iron, trusty soldering iron, and there's some chemicals and all that kind of stuff. And there's... Um, the meter on the right hand side is actually uh, an LCR meter. It uh, checks capacitors, uh, inductors, and uh, resistance, but it's uh, it's a neat little device because it'll actually test it uh, based on a uh, on a 120 hertz signal or a one uh, kilohertz signal, which is uh, really good, especially for capacitors and stuff. And you can get inductance and stuff like that from uh, coils and transformers and all that, and you can get the um, uh, impedance from them. And the, uh, the guy on the left is just a DVM. And that guy there is uh, my latest um, uh, uh, creation. It's a uh, ESR meter, equivalent series resistance meter for uh, capacitors. So I'll describe that probably in another video. It um, works really, really well. I got the schematic from uh, somebody on the internet and I'll uh, post it uh, when I do that video. Anyway, moving over to the right hand side here. Uh, you'll see that uh, starting at the left. Uh, at the bottom there is uh, uh, a function generator. It's a function generator I made. It's I think it uses the XR2206 chip or something like that. So a uh, very easy uh, design. And I think I, oh, there's also an uh, amplifier off to the left. So I kind of did two little projects in one case. And then that guy there is a frequency counter. I built that uh, for my college project uh, last semester. Still works and uh, works very well. Thank you very much. I built that from scratch, by the way. I designed it. and. Um, uh, made the PC board and all that kind of stuff inside, so I'm quite proud of that. Anyway, uh, there's a CB on the top, a little tiny CB, and a little power amplifier that I built. It's, uh, it works, but uh, nothing great. And there's just a little uh, attenuation uh, T-pad that I made uh, for the CB. It's a big long story, I won't get into it. And a little adjustable power supply that's going to be replaced by a big variable power supply soon, and I'll show you that later. And a little, oh, a nice little old Weston uh, milliamp meter. Can't go wrong with that. And there's a little um, power meter for uh, RF that a friend made. So he gave that to me, so that was nice of him. And this guy here in the bottom, that's a, it's an adjustable AC power supply. And it's a, it's a, basically an isolation um, AC supply. I like to use it when I'm testing uh, radios, tube radios and stuff like that. Especially the American, uh, all five, all five American. Um, the there is no transformer in those radios. It just takes the feed right from the AC line, so it's very dangerous. Anyway, you can bring up the uh, uh, voltage really slowly from 70 volts uh, to about 115. Well, it's a full full scale, so neat little thing to have. And that's a RF generator. Uh, neat little thing to have when you're testing radios and such. You can actually put an audio frequency in on that connector there at the bottom left. And the one on the right-hand side is your RF out. So you can actually modulate a carrier, because you can see the scale there. Um, you can create a carrier and, uh, and then modulate it with a audio frequency. And uh, put a little piece of wire at the end there, and you can actually transmit an AM uh, signal out to a little radio that's close by. And there's a speaker, it's just a little test speaker to have. And that guy there on the bottom is just a 8 ohm, 80 watt uh, load. It's a... Uh, used to test uh, amplifiers, audio audio amplifiers and stuff like that. And there's uh, another frequency counter, it's uh, HP1. And then of course we come to the oscilloscope. There's the oscilloscope, don't be so silly. 
And uh, that's a ham radio. Yes, I'm an amateur radio operator. I get on there once in a blue moon. It's always good to have. You never knew. When all else fails, everybody turns to amateur radio, as they say. And then this guy here is uh, just an experimental board. It's a Heath kit. A uh, neat little thing. It's got a uh, uh, square wave uh, uh, generator on there. It's, it's really good for testing digital circuits and such. And then, of course, you'll see the computer screen. And there is the computer. If I want to look stuff up on the internets and stuff. And just chemicals and little things like that there. And, uh, oh, this guy here. I'll probably create another video on that. That's actually a more, uh, it's a Heath kit. Uh, another experimenter board, but this time it uses the um, Motorola 6809 chip. And for all you computer nerds out there that'll remember, uh, the 6802, 6809 is a Motorola chip that uh, Apple, Apple One used in their computers. Uh, so it's a very, very important chip, and uh, if you can understand that chip and how it's programmed and all the rest of it, um, it, it's the basis of all computers. So I'll probably get a video on that. And that keypad on the right hand side is uh, machine code, it's a hex keypad. And to program stuff, you use that uh, keypad. And then you'll see the little displays there. That'll give you all the information that you've entered. So, what else can I show you? Well, there's my kitty cat. Mona. Yeah. There's the kitty cat. She helps me sometime when I'm uh, experimenting and such. And so, uh, out over here is just a whole bunch of junk in the corner there. Although this... This is going to be another video. It's my huge, humongous variable power supply. It should go from about, oh, I don't know, 2 to 28 volts or something like that. But it is massive. It'll probably output something like 10 amps or something like that, maybe 15, who knows. So that's uh, coming up. I'm just waiting for a little chip in there, and then I should be able to polish that up. I'll make another video on that. So that's all. So Mona and myself, Bettina. We're going to say 73s and uh, goodbye.